On Tuesday, 16th of May, the body of one of Kapsoya aspiring MCA James Ratemo Onsari's three missing children was found floating in the swollen river Nzoia. The rest were found one after the other, cold-blooded murders that have shocked the nation and have now seen a special homicide squad from CID headquarters dispatched to Eldery to take charge of the investigation. The detectives now narrowing down the probe on the children's uncle Enoch on Sanse in search of a motive for the murder. The three six-year-old Clifford, five-year-old Dan, and three-year-old Glenn were last seen alive on Saturday, 13th of May, headed to church in Eldoret Town when they reportedly met their uncle. It is reported that on Sunset sent away the children's cousin, offering to accompany the three, but the children would never make it to church, and shortly after their disappearance was reported, Enoch's phone was switched off. However, a witness has now come forward to say on Sunset was seen in the company of the children children in Eldoret town hours after they went missing. The first child would be found dead three days later, paving the way for the discovery of the remaining two. Suspicions have mounted because signals from Onsanse's phone indicate he switched it off for several hours on the day the children disappeared. Police keen on unraveling what happened between the time he was last seen with the children and the time they met their death. Philip wakatua ma within that time uh, immediately before he switched off the phone and after he, swi he switched on the phone so that we can see whether there was any other person involved in that maybe he's not the one direct or maybe he's the one direct Sources say the motive of the killings is not clear. Although a family feud seems likely, the children's mother is said to be a second wife to their father. Could there have been a plot to force her out of her matrimonial home? The family spokesman, however, throwing a spanner in the works, urging the police to cast their net wider in order to find other suspects. The character of the suspect is such that uh, he is said to be a very reserved person, and the kind of uh, uh, the kind of of scheme that perhaps led to these deaths may have been uh, a very well orchestrated one. So we, we feel that. Uh, the police need to do a little bit more. The family has also ruled out the theory of a family land dispute as a motive. There is no land that has been sold by the father of the victims, either here or in Kisi, which the family is feuding on. The suspect is in police custody and is expected to be charged with murder. Wilkie Sanyabo Sunday Live.